Hello, Aries. This is your reading. Hmm. Some of you doing with a earth sign, a slow energy, a stable one. But this is for Aries, full Celtic cross for the beginning of December 2019. New energies and hopefully positive energies for those born in the zodiac sign of Aries. Like I said, sun, moon, and rising. See what the beginning energy is, and I always look for a positive reading, but if we don't get one, we work through it, you know? Let's see. The art card, also known as temperance and balance. You're trying to regain balance. Something's going to maybe uh, knock you off kilter. We'll find out. But you are trying to regain balance. Current environment, the Prince of Discs can be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, um, Taurus, or Virgo. They are in reverse, or it could be messages that you were hoping that will come in. Um, uh, messages of stability sometimes. But like I said, it could be an Earth sign you're dealing with. What's crossing it? You're wanting your happily ever after. Maybe you feel like your happily ever after isn't coming in fast enough. Um, maybe you're losing patience with the Ten of Cups. What crowns you or your goal is the full card in reverse. You're being very careful about jumping into new things. Foundation is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is about celebrations with family, having um, uh, fun, abundance in family, uh, breaking bread, you know, having, you know, just enjoying, you know, the people around you. In the past, we got the Four of Swords. You stopped taking a break. Maybe you took a, a bit of a break. Maybe you were sick and you had to get some rest. Or maybe you just needed rest. But now it's time to wake up, at least in the past position. Very near future, you're going to come out of feeling like someone betrayed you. and um, But you're also very cautious with the Ten of Swords in reverse. You're very cautious about who you let into your life. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is be careful of choices you make with the two of wands. Um, and it looks like that's what you're going to do. But it's also that maybe you need to take more control because you haven't been. But we'll find out. I will clarify. You know, when I clarify, I can change the story up. And I will give you a love reading at the end, so stick with me. Outside environment, what is coming towards you, I believe it's an outside environment, is the Six of Wands. You feel like you're not getting a victory on something, um, or you are having trouble obtaining a victory, or somebody around you is having trouble with a victory. Your hopes and fears is completion with the Four of Wands. It's also about happy homes and about a happy environment, and you just want love and peace in your life. That is a like a Venus Aries type card. And you do get that in the end. So you work out something. Something kind of messed you up a little bit with somebody that had to do with, you know, breaking bread. It could be with family. It could be a, you know, a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend. It doesn't matter. But it looks like you got good memories and a completion. Well, you want a completion. You want a happy home. And it looks like you're coming out of a betrayal situation. But I got to find out more. Like I said, I'll be giving you a love reading in a second or a few minutes also. But let's go back to the beginning and find out maybe what happened. Maybe they'll tell us more. So the Prince of Disc in reverse with the Ten of Cups crossing it. Why are you there? As the um, subject at hand, you know, I need two cards, please, for Aries. Could have to do with an air sign and not liking what they had to offer. The air sign could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They are in reverse. They have no filter. Maybe they said something. Maybe they, you know, what they were offering came off kind of wrong with the Four of Cups, and you may reject it. You may say, I don't like what you said to me. So that could have a lot to do with it. Would uh, crown you or your goal, the full card, you're going to be very careful before you jump into something. Maybe um, you have an opportunity to do so, but you're like being super careful. So the full card in reverse, I need two cards for Aries, please. Two cards. Yeah, there's that three of cups again. And you may walk away from, you may, you're thinking about walking away. Maybe someone invites you out to eat or to talk and to, like I said, to break bread. But you're thinking about walking away from the situation because apparently there was a betrayal at one time. You are coming out of it, though. Now, the foundation, again, is the three of cups. Someone, you know, they want to break bread. I need two cards, please, for Aries as a foundation. Two cards, please. 
The devil in reverse. Yeah, you're trying to become unchained from a situation. Someone, I think, wants to, um, you know, like I said, get together. Could have to do with an earth sign. We did see that earlier. Or an air sign, because we had that also. We'd be dealing, you know, Aries is dealing with a dip, lot of different people. Or I'm doing uh, this card reading for a lot of different Aries. So it looks like someone wants to come out of a situation where they felt, you know, kind of oppressed. But like I said, you don't know if you want it yourself. So it's up to you whether you uh, go out with this person or talk with them. It's up to you. Now in the past, someone came out of uh, taking a break or maybe they were sick and um, they were away for a while, but now they're coming back in. So the Four of Swords in reverse while you're there. For Aries, I need two cards, please. Yeah, someone wants to manifest something. Some, someone that you had a bit of a contract with or someone that... Um, meant something to you. you. You learned from each other at one time. And you manifest. It could be someone kind of religious. But I see that somebody is wanting to come out of taking a break. They want to manifest something. They want to, and it could be, like I said, someone from that you had a contract with, a li like a life contract or a soul contract with. In the very near future, you may come out of feeling betrayal. I need two cards to know for sure. I'm pretty sure you are, though. So the Ten of Swords in reverse. Two cards, please, for Aries in the near future. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice. <clears throat> Could have to do with someone you're emotionally uh, bound to with the, um, with the Two of Cups. It's a love situation, possibly, or partnership. And it had a lot to do with money. Someone betrayed you with some finances, or they took away your stability in some way. But you're coming out of that. But this is what happened, you know. Now, possible future outcome, advice from the universe is the two of wands. It's taking control. It's making a choice in life. It's in reverse. So I need two cards to be sure what it is. If it's advice from the universe or it's going to be the outcome. I think it's advice from the universe, So, Two of wands, two cards, please, for Aries. Yeah, it's saying make a truce. There's the Four of Swords again. It's saying um, before you make a decision about which way you want to go, you may want to consider talking to this person. It's up to you, though. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. But it's, it's just to make peace within yourself also. So take control and domination because maybe you're thinking about not. Because I see you with the Eight of Cups thinking about walking away. And what is coming towards you, someone doesn't feel like they got a victory. This is someone on the outside. Um, it's coming towards you. They don't feel like they got a victory or, or something failed. So the eight of, I mean, six of wands in reverse coming towards Aries while you're there. <clears throat> Sorry, lose my voice. I hope I get through this reading. Yeah, someone wants a wish with you and they're stuck and they're suffering and they're thinking about the situation with you and, and they feel like they lost something, you know. Now, your hopes and fears, you just want a happy home. You want a happy situation. You want a happy festivities with people. And it could be um, with family and that somebody comes in from a family side that you had a bit of an outing, you know, on the outs with. Um, because I see more than just one person here. I'm feeling it. So I need two cards for the four of wands in the upright for Aries. Two cards, please. Yeah, you're wanting success. And you're not wanting to hold back yourself in life with the Four of Pentacles. Some of you may um, be spending more money also. But in the very end, we got the you know the Six of Cups. We got pleasure. We got abundance and love and friendship and good memories coming. Okay, Aries? So Six of Cups in the upright. I need two cards, please, for Aries. Two cards. Queen of Swords. Yeah, someone's still having a little anxiety. They're having trouble sleeping, but they're still coming in, okay? They're, st they're still coming in. Um, 
And I think it's someone from your past. You got the Queen of Discs there too. So you got Earth and Air here. And the Queen of Swords is in the upright. And they're coming in. They're going to make good memories with you. But there's still some anxieties left there where someone is still a little hesitant with you. Maybe it's going to be a little edgy. I mean, it's, it's getting better. You're coming out of that sting you had with somebody and it cost you in some way. But I see this person wanting to come towards you and come out of a stagnant situation. They're wanting happiness with you again. So it's up to you whether you accept it or not. Now I'm going to give you a love reading. And you got like stability coming in too. That has a lot to do with that also. So don't worry. It's up to you, Aries. You've got a choice in this situation totally. Whether to let this person in your life and do a kiss and make up type situation. Or you could just let it go and be happy yourself. Aries got a choice here. They really do in this situation anyway. And I'm going to give you a love reading. I'll be right back. Hello, Aries. This is a love reading for you for the beginning of December 2019. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. New energies and positive energies, hopefully, for Aries in love. Three cards, please. Three cards from the Angel Love Cards. Three cards. And then I'll give three cards from the Angel Answer ones, too. They're the new cards. Let's see what we got here. Three cards from the Angel Answers. What does Aries need to know about love and relationships and life in general? When it comes to love, we need to know. Three cards for Aries. Three cards for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, beginning of December. Now, I like to shuffle in front of you. Some people don't like it. I, you know, seeing is believing with me. You don't shuffle them. I have, you know, unless I really know the reader, you know, just the way I am. Just the way I am. Ah, flirt. Get in more information on a situation before you get involved. You know, somehow, you know, some people, you know, they'll flirt a little and they'll start talking to you and trying to get more information. So either you're going to do that or somebody else is going to do that with you. They're going to flirt a little and they're trying to get more information from you or you them find out what they're really like ah in the next few weeks you could be calling in a soulmate situation does it have to do with that last reading that's very interesting that's up to you but calling in the next few weeks you will be meeting a soulmate so what it says see within the next few weeks must be nice so get more information start flirting because the next few weeks guess what someone's coming in give this relationship a chance that's your soulmate because someone's coming in and big happy changes are coming in for Aries so you got a soulmate coming in don't you know poo poo them out of your life because sometimes you know we could do that we don't trust people um, get more information before you reject person reject a person because it really could be the person you're you know you're supposed to have in your life it's going to happen within the next few weeks so probably at the end of December so be a good gift for the holidays and uh, give that, give it a chance, okay? Because they're big, happy changes coming for Aries. Talk to you later. Bye. Oops, you know what I forgot to do? You got a soulmate coming. I forgot to do um, the past life reading that I promised people when they get the soulmate card, you know? Should do it for the world card, too. But this is, uh, I'm going to pull for you cards. This is a fun thing. It's like, who is this person to you in a past life? And oftentimes, they carry it over into this life. Of, you know certain situations we'll find out but I need um, let's do two cards because it's kind of it's all about past lives so two cards for Aries for that soulmate who were they in a past life situation it's always kind of cool to find out it's a fun thing like I said who are they or who were they who were they to Aries ah, we'll do another one if we need another card we'll get it we'll rock the boat here not supposed to do these with the past life cards okay first pile some are quite a love situation that you had with this person in the past life that you're now um they're coming in the next few weeks so it's unrequited love okay someone that you know kind of broke your heart and you broke you know theirs um spirituality and religion Maybe you had that in common. Maybe it's what got in the way of your unrequited love. Maybe families didn't agree with your belief system or you, them, you know, yours, them. Could have had a lot to do with it. 
and finances. Maybe you didn't, um, they didn't feel like you had enough finances, your family, or you didn't feel like they had enough. And it had to do with, I think, different backgrounds. And therefore, you know, back in the day, you know, if the families didn't, you know, agree with who you saw, it didn't happen, you know. There was no um, running off, you know, and getting married often. Usually they split them apart. So this person you were in love with and they were in love with you, but um, your backgrounds got in the way, you know, when it came to religion and money. So that is your soulmate reading. I'm sorry I did that. I forgot about it. I'm sorry I'm losing my voice, so I'm going to let this go. Bye.